want to play on a ski tour but not sure where to start, I'm a bit biased, but I always start in Onyx Backcountry, usually on our desktop web map, but all these features are also available on our mobile phone app. I just prefer having a bit of a bigger screen, and if I'm around my house, a lot easier just to be on my laptop, I think. So we're gonna just go through a few features, rapid fire, show you where they are, and if you're curious about any more detail about these specific features, we have a handful of other YouTube videos on this, as well as master classes. We'll drop links for both of those in this video, if you want to dive a bit deeper. The first thing I'll do when I'm hopping in web map and trying to plan a tour is find where there's good snow. And for me, that starts with looking at our snow tail stations near me. These are indicated by the snowflake icon on the map. You can click into those and get great info about recent snowfall, snow water equivalent, uh, snow depth, temperature. And this is actual ground truth information that we have within there that you can see literally what has happened as recently as a few hours ago in a specific area. If you have a handful of these snow tells around you, which hopefully you do, there are over 800 of these in our app, you can then triage and see where's maybe getting better snow, where's maybe didn't get as much snow and start your planning there. You can also use our recent imagery feature, particularly early and late season to jump in and see where the snow line is this feature shows you satellite images taken as recently as two weeks ago, and you can toggle back through time. That'll help you see where's maybe getting early season snow stashes or late in the year, how the snow line is receding and where you can expect ski lines to still be filled in. It's an awesome tool and a real game changer for the planning process. The last tool that I'll use to try to understand what the actual snow quality will look like up there a bit more is our wind on a waypoint feature. And you can click in there and add uh, wind direction to any of your waypoints. I love to drop a bunch of these in various spots that I like to ski and gives you a sense of both the wind direction and the wind speed, which will show you where is maybe getting wind loaded, where maybe is getting filled in or scoured, and just give you a slightly more detailed view of what, what might be happening up there in the mountains. Next step for me is gonna be turning on the avalanche forecast layer and reading the avalanche forecast for that day. Uh, I try to do this every day through the winter for the areas that I like to ski. It gives you a sense of how the snowpack is progressing and you can do that right within the Onyx Backcountry app and get all of that info right there when you click in. Next up for me is gonna be finding a ski line. And if I'm in a area where there are beacon guidebooks integrated into our app, I'll definitely be using one of those. Awesome integration with expert curated guidebook lines for your area. We have a ton of Western states covered with those. But if I'm not in that area, uh, I'll be likely using the Root Builder tool to plan my own route. Root Builder is an awesome feature that snaps to trails. Uh, so if you're covering any trails in your ski tour, it'll just automatically magnetically snap to that line. And then as you go off those trails and maybe go more deeper into the backcountry into new zones, you can build your own route that whole way. It'll show you your distance, your elevation gain for the day, and give you a really good sense of just kind of what, what to expect when you're out there. Next step for me that I'll use in conjunction with my route building process is our avalanche safety tools that we have in the app. That's things like slope angle, slope aspect, and our eights tools as well. Uh, those three features will help you break down terrain and visualize things a bit better before you're out there in the field. I find that for me, those are extremely powerful features when you combine them with our awesome 3D maps. You can just see terrain in great detail and get a sense of what to expect when you're out there. Finally, the last thing for me is gonna be dropping some waypoints in the area, especially on longer ski tours where you're covering potentially more complex terrain. It's awesome to drop a few waypoints along the route, maybe to mark areas that you think are potentially hazardous or areas of potential safety before you get into those hazardous areas. Those will be little reminders for your group to think before you get into more dangerous terrain, regroup, have a conversation, assess the snowpack and ground check the decisions that you had when you were planning on your computer or on your phone with the actual conditions you're seeing on the ground. That's an incredibly important step that we can't emphasize enough that you can only go so far with your trip planning beforehand. So much of it comes down to how you're actually dealing with the conditions out there and what you're seeing in the field and your decision-making process there. Then, once I have all that info 
overlaid on the map. I can share that line, share those waypoints. I can also create a folder that has all of that content in it and share that out with my friends with a simple link that they can check out themselves. That's available to anyone that has an Onyx account, paying members and non-paying members. You can share that with anybody. It's also a great safety resource. Uh, if you're looking to tell someone where you're going and be a little more specific, you can literally share your exact route plan for the day in case things go wrong. They'll have a much better sense of where you actually were recreating that day and your plan for that day. Once you made a plan, remember to download an offline map on your mobile phone. That'll allow you to use all of these tools when you're out there in the field. You'll also be able to see all that planning work you did right on your phone, which makes it so much easier to navigate and just makes the process a lot quicker and more enjoyable when you're out skiing, less time on the planning and more time just enjoying getting out skiing. So if you do end up getting out this weekend, I hope you have a blast.